everyone and welcome to today's video. So this is actually the second time I'm filming this video because the first time I did it my head somehow got cropped off and you were just seeing my lips moving. Today I want to review the Color Wow Dream Coat Super Natural Spray for you guys. It's this one. I have seen it on so many influencers Instagram stories and some of them I really really do like for example like Desi Perkins or Andrea Ali and I have seen them having great results with it and raving about this product so I was really curious on trying this one it claims like to be this amazing product to give you so much shine on your hair and to last um, for three to four washes, so I really put that one to the test for you guys, so you don't have to. Um, the product is about, I think I paid about 28 euros for 200 milliliters or 6.7 ounces of the product. And it claims to magically transform texture and it has amazing humidity proofing powers. So uh, the claims on this one are pretty intense. You have to spray it on your damp hair and then you have to like blow dry your hair because the product needs heat to be activated. So what do we have uh, on the bottle itself? It says award-winning humidity sealant stops hair from becoming a hot mess even in the highest humidity activated by heat, long-lasting, lasts through three to four shampoos. So I was really intrigued by this product. I thought I would do an in-depth review for you guys on it because maybe you have seen it on somebody else's IG stories or maybe on YouTube or maybe somebody recommended it to you but you weren't sure on what the product would actually do for you. So let's get right into the topic. I will show you all my results, review after one, two, three washes. And in the end, I will wrap up my opinion on this product and if I would recommend you investing in it, using it, buying it or not. So here I'm just uh, brushing through my hair with my tangle teaser to get it untangled and prepare it for the next step of applying the color wall spray. Then um, this is uh, the spray again. Sorry for the bad quality of the video, but I had to shoot it with my iPhone in the bathroom, so this is why. So you're supposed to apply like a generous amount of the product in your damp hair. I let it air dry a little bit before applying the Dream Coat spray on my hair and I was pretty generous and I tried to focus also uh, on the tips of my hair because my hair um, is pretty dry and as I said um, this is where there's mostly the extension part of my hair so yeah. I just start to blow dry my hair. Um, I'm using my Paul Mitchell petal brush uh, and it's still my old blow dryer. If you remember um, in the video where I talk about beauty items that I splurge on, I talked about getting a new blow dryer, but I still didn't get one. So here you can see how short the cord of the blow dryer of this blow dryer actually is. So yeah, um, I did nothing particular here, just blow drying my hair with over the petal brush and um, yeah, getting it uh, all warmed up because as I said before, the product needs heat to be activated and um, yeah, I just did a lazy girl blowout so nothing special with the way that I blow dried my hair here. Then I just did a quick uh, middle part of my hair. You can already see that it's pretty shiny and smooth and um, looks really healthy so I did already like the result a lot and yeah just a quick brush through. Then I decided to give my hair a few passes with my straightening iron just because the product is supposed to be activated by heat and I thought that this would help to get the best results and really seal in that product and have it activated. I took a picture for you. This is right after 
my uh, initial application and you can really see how shiny and healthy looking my hair actually is. This is in broad daylight in the morning and I was really happy with the result that I have been seeing. This is what my hair looked like after my first wash. So I'll use just my regular Paul Mitchell um, or Sebastian Professional, I don't remember, shampoo and conditioner and blow dried my hair. And this is what it looked like after my first shampoo. You can see that especially my natural hair is still very, very shiny. It looks super healthy. I was very happy with the result even after the second wash. Um, you can start to see that the tips of my hair are not as smooth and shiny as they were um, when I first applied the product, but I was still very happy with the result after my second shampoo. And finally, this is my hair after the third shampoo and conditioning round. You can still see that like my top hair is still very shiny, it still looks healthy, but like the ends of my hair or, or yeah, the tips of my hair um, do look pretty rough. Uh, you can actually see very much that the product fades over time. So after my third time around, this is what my hair looked like. Now that you have seen me, like using the product, going through all of the washes that it says to be long lasting through. Um, I will give you my final opinion on the Colorwell Dream Coat Supernatural Spray. Um, I really, really do like the results the spray has given my hair, especially keeping in mind that I'm currently um, wearing tape and extensions and the hair of the extensions gets super super dry it's very hard to like keep it looking healthy and shiny so I really feel like this product does a lot especially when it comes to um, the extension hair um, also I really think that it gives my hair like a really intense shine it feels super soft especially um, when it comes to my own hair, so my natural hair, um, which is already pretty fine, but it feels like so soft, it's so shiny when I have like applied it. So I have applied it today, I have used it again because I like the results so much and I feel like it really um, does something for my hair, it really gives my hair this intense shine and I really do like that about the product. Do I think it lasts as long as it claims? So this one is really difficult to answer for me because I feel like on my own hair, the results really lasted throughout the shampoo. So after the third shampooing of my hair, washing it, like using conditioner, just my regular routine, I still felt that my natural hair was still very shiny and soft, but on the extension hair, it didn't perform that well so if you are wearing extensions like i am then keep that in mind that you might have to use uh, the product more often than it claims on the bottle itself would i recommend you using or buying this product of course i can only give you my opinion on how it worked on my fine and already straight hair so please keep that in mind also i don't uh, have any experience on how this would perform um, on like more structured hair or thicker hair. I do know they have a special version of this product for curly hair, so if your hair is curly, make sure you're getting this one, uh, which is specially made for your hair type. Other than that, I really, really like the results I'm getting with this product. I think I will continue using it. I think the 28 euros for the 200 milliliters are a bit pricey but if you keep in mind that you are using this product only about once a week I think this bottle may last you for a whole year so it's actually not that expensive this is one of the like my opinions on hair care products as I have mentioned in this video um, where I'm talking about the products that I like to splurge on and actually hair care products are like a major category in this video because 
I do feel like they give me the best results. So if you're looking for a product that gives your hair like a lot of shine, that keeps it straight, um, then this one might actually be a really good choice for you. Um, I also have to add that my hair looks crazy in the morning, usually after I wake up. So I always say that I look like Hagrid from Harry Potter when I wake up or like Hermione in the first movies where her hair is like all over the place and she looks insane. And this is what happens to my hair overnight. I don't know what it is. It doesn't matter if I put it in a like loose bun or a, I don't know, a ponytail or if I'm not doing anything to it. I always look insane. So um, this has also changed that, this product. So I wake up, my hair is still smooth. My hair um, is looks way more like organized if you want to put it that way. So I don't look like Hagrid in the morning anymore. And I really appreciate that when it comes to this product. To wrap this video up, I really enjoyed using the Color Wow Dream Coat Spray. I will definitely continue using this and including this in my regular routine. Um, I do think it's worth the money. It's not one of these overhyped influencer products. Um, I was really curious about it because the people that recommended it um, are people that um, their opinions that I really value. So um, I was really into trying this product and putting it to the test for you guys. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful to you, my opinion on this Color Wow hair product. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, go check out my channel and join the family. I do reviews and in-depth analysis of beauty products that I like or I feel like have to be put to the test on a regular basis. So please subscribe, ring the bell, all of that. I'm wishing you a wonderful day and I will see you soon on my channel. Bye!